covers. That's the hydrogen fuel tank, four kilograms at 5,000 PSI. The first thing that we have to do when fueling the vehicle is connect an electrical cable, which measures the temperature and the pressure inside the tank. This way we guarantee that we fill the tank to the same level every time. It is affected by ambient temperature. So the hotter it is outside, the higher the pressure in the tank. The hotter the tank is when it's filling, and there's a risk that you won't get the same amount of gas in the vehicle at all times. So it's a touch screen activated by a credit card. So it's filling right now. Oh. That's the sound of the high pressure hydrogen flowing through the, the tubing into the tank. And the sound that you just heard is the high pressure storage switching from one set of gas cylinders to another. It works as a cascade filling system. So it fills the car down to a certain minimum flow rate and then it switches over to a higher pressure storage bank. Typical fill takes less than three minutes. The range of the vehicle is approximately 150 to 200 miles and that's utilizing three and a half to four kilograms of hydrogen. The auto manufacturers are not putting all their eggs in one basket in terms of just fuel cell technology. They're also working on hydrogen internal combustion engines as well as ethanol um, internal combustion engines, clean diesel, uh, electric vehicles, the whole gamut.